What's up again, everybody? It's Ron Rogers here from Pro Printing Systems. And if you're watching this video, you are frustrated because your printer just stopped printing out of nowhere with no warning, no explanation whatsoever, just stopped printing. The good news is in less than three minutes, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do. Now, this will be for any type network printer, but I'm gonna show you on a Canon Image ProGraph IPF series printer. We're just gonna change the IP address and reinstall the driver to match. Setting the IP address to a static address is fairly simple to do. Scroll over using the circular navigation keys, push all the way to the right until you reach the menu. When you press OK, we're gonna scroll down to interface setup. TCP IP is where we're looking, IPv4, and we're gonna change the mode if yours is in automatic, you can create a situation where the IP address will change on you. So if you change it to manual and press OK, now we can jump into the IPv4 settings and the IP address we have right here. Um, you can change the numbers. So I know that mine is stable here. I'm gonna change the number though at the end just so you can see what happens. Note too, there's three numbers. On your computer, you may only be showing a one, like 192.168.1.11 um, or 10. It, it might be any of those things, that's okay. Um, it, the, the, the printer just registers three numbers. If yours is dot one on your computer, just use a dot 001 here. So when I press okay on this, it's going to take me back. The subnet should always be um, this, but make sure that you cross-reference with what your computer has. And then your default gateway. You'll need those three pieces of data and information. You may also need your DNS, primary DNS server address. Some have a secondary, some don't. So as we press back to get out of here, it's going to ask us if we want to store this setting. Scroll down to yes and hit enter. So it will store that setting now, and you can either reinstall the driver on the PC or change the IP address of the printer driver on the PC. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is the uh, control panel on Windows 10. And we're going to go into Devices and Printers. And the 670 is the one that we're working with today. You'll notice it's grayed out right now. That's because it's turned off. But if you are having difficulties with yours not printing, yours will be grayed out too because it's offline. So when you scroll over top of it, hover over top of it, and right click, go to printer properties, not properties, go to printer properties, and this screen comes up. You can hit ports, and if you drag this over, you'll be able to see the IP address of your printer and it'll show you whatever your model printer is. If this IP address does not match the IP address that is on the printer, you will not be able to print because the computer is sending the information to essentially the wrong phone number. It's just the wrong number. You're calling the wrong person. So if you need to change this, you can either delete that printer entirely or if you configure port, this one won't let you change any data but this one will. So you saw me change the printer over to 10. You would just change that, click OK, and your printer will be back to normal. You'll be printing again in no time. Just make sure you do set that IP address to static.